Hey everyone, Docwell here. I welcome to another video. Today is going to be a replay review of a viewer who sent me this replay and wanted me to take a look at it. I can't pronounce his name. I, he said that English wasn't his first language, so uh, I'm sure he's like um, European or something like that, uh, Eastern European, I wouldn't doubt. Um, so we're going to take a look at this game here in one second. He's the Ursa, obviously he's paired up with the Omni Knight here, and uh, let's just jump into it. So first off, I just wanted to say really quick that this is a decently bad matchup for Ursa just because Techies is extremely annoying and uh, the PA you have to buy an item to deal with and the Ricky also can just pretty much straight up counter you with Cloud and a Diffusal Blade. So right off the bat, it's not the best matchup for Ursa. I will just say that outright. Um, the Earthshaker and the Chaos Knight, they're not too bad. Um, but otherwise, you know, these three heroes could just be kind of annoying because you don't always want to go MKB on Ursa. The Ricky can just be extremely annoying, make you get BKB, pop it whenever he does a smoke cloud. And uh, Techie's just all around, just super annoying. And if you walk into a stasis trap, like, I mean, you could just insta-die unless you pop ult instantly or unless you BKB or something like that. Um, so let's just jump ahead here to the laning stage. Now, there's two things that I wanted to talk about in the laning stage. And the first one is creep aggro. So we're going to see here that you pretty much don't use creep aggro the entire laning stage. Um, at least not intentionally. So we just see the creeps are just kind of hitting themselves there, or hitting each other there, and no one is really doing anything. You guys are just like kind of posturing at the creep wave. You're not really doing much in terms of uh, harassing each other or doing creep aggro. So the first time you use creep aggro is I think at like 2.30. And, you, yeah, it's, like, coming up here quick. And it's unintentional. So right here, watch. The creeps are attacking this guy. You click the CK, and now the creeps come and attack you. And that's pretty much creep aggro. When you right-click a hero, the enemy creeps will come and attack you, and so you can pull them back to your range creep. And so the reason why you want to do that, especially against techies, but other heroes that harass you a lot, is that it just allows you to pull the creep wave back so that you can farm it safer. And that's just something that you want to learn in general. Now, you are doing pretty well in last hits. You're focusing on that, which is good, and I don't want you to stop focusing on that. Um, and in general, we'll see later in the game, you're pretty much on the top of the CS board the entire game, which is good. And that's what I want you to focus on, because I think just learning how to farm on carry well, will get you um, high enough, uh, like, I don't know what exactly the number is now for you, but I know it's... Uh, Herald or Guardian one, you'll probably get to, you know, I don't know, 2k maybe just by farming decently um, and not focusing on almost anything else, just making sure you're getting, you know, last hits. But creep aggro is something that will help you get those last hits. So I want you to focus on just trying to use that. Now, I'm not going to focus on all of the areas when you, the times when you want to use it and when you don't want to use it. Just try to use it to get and secure um, your last hits more. And then eventually, you know, once you get to a higher level and you kind of get stuck at a certain point where farming isn't good enough, then you can learn more of these things in lane to help your laning stage. Now, the second thing along with that is being aggressive. So if we've, if you guys have been watching, if you've been watching this whole laning stage, you have pretty much only clicked the CK like one time. Now here you're getting aggressive because you're seeing that the techies is low and doesn't have suicide, which is good. But if we even rewind to the very beginning of the lane, let's just go all the way back. Not here. Yeah, even to the first creep wave after you TP in. Now, obviously, you should be scared of the techies, but the techies is currently mid. You saw him mid. He hasn't TP'd up here yet. And if you employed creep aggro, but even if you didn't, you can just walk up and hit the CK. Now, the CK, yes, he's kind of tanky. He does have a crit or maybe a stun, but you have Fury Swipes. And Fury Swipes is pretty much what makes Ursa strong, not only in the game, but also in the laning stages. If you just went up and clicked this guy a few times... He does not want to trade with you if he gets, you know, two or three Fury Swipe stacks on. So, like, see how you're right next to him, but you're not clicking him? You can just click him, and then you can either drive him out of lane or potentially get a kill onto him. Now you see the Techies is here, obviously. You are a little bit scared because, you know, the Techies can be annoying. In this lane, you don't want to get too aggressive, you know, get yourself down to low HP, and then the Techies can just suicide kill you. So that's pretty obvious. But, like, 
you're just being so passive, it's kind of, it's just too extreme. You're being way too passive, especially with the fact that you have an Omni Knight sitting behind you here um, that can heal you like that. And you have an okay amount of regen. So that's just something that I want you to think about. Something to learn is, along with that creep aggro, if you pulled the creeps back to your range, he would try to get the range creep, and then you could be aggressive onto him. And so incorporating creep aggro helps with your aggressiveness, but also just learning to be a little more aggressive. Now, I don't want you to stop getting last hits for aggression because, you know, I think focusing on last hits like you are is very, very good. But I just want you to try to get a little more aggressive. Hit, especially with someone like Ursa. Now, I know you play anti-mage, but anti-mage against certain heroes can also be aggressive because of that mana burn. Um, but especially if you're going to play Ursa, just try to use those Fury Swipes and that aggression if you can. Just try to get used to it. I don't want you to, like, feed too much, but you are going to die occasionally if you try to, you know, experiment with aggression. Because you're trying to learn your limits of the hero and when you can get aggressive, you know, at what time with certain items, levels, and against what heroes. That's just something you're going to learn with time. But if you, if you never do it at this level, then once you get to a place where you're stuck then you're just going to have to brute force learn it from there, and you might drop some MMR, you know, while you learn it. But if you learn it now, if you start getting used to being aggressive now, um, I think it'll help you in the long run. So that's pretty much all I have to say with the laning stages. Other things I could talk about, but the thing is, I don't want to overwhelm you too much with too many details, too many things to think about, because then, you know, you'll stop last hitting, you'll stop getting as many creeps, you'll be thinking about so many other things that it won't really help you. Um, so we can just, like, let's fast forward here a little bit. Um... And I know I don't like to talk about items too much, but really quick, I just wanted to talk about the Voidstone purchase. Obviously, you're going Battle Fury, you're following the guide. But in general, Voidstone is almost never the first one that you buy. It can be, but a lot of times it's the last one or the second one that you buy. If It's last if you're not having mana problems. And it's the second one um, because usually you want to buy the Ring of Region. And so my point being here is that you're kind of sitting at half HP, so you don't really want to get aggressive. And yes, the Voidstone helps you use your spells more, but if you're sitting at lower HP, that doesn't, you know, it doesn't help you as much. So you eventually get a Chipped Vest here, um, which will help with your regen. But if you didn't have that, you know, you'd be sitting at kind of low HP, and, and the higher MMR you gain, right now the enemy team is focusing on the other lanes, but eventually they will come and try to kill you, and if you're half HP, you're going to die way more often. Um, and... You see, you're, you are kind of spamming out your spells, and you're still sitting at pretty high mana. So, although mana is an issue with Ursa once you level up your spells and you want to use them to farm, I would say purchasing that uh, Ring of Health um, is just... That's just the right play pretty much 90% of the time. So, I would just consider that. And I don't know what you do on, on Antimage, but it's a similar kind of consideration. Uh, and the fact that you buy the Ring of uh, Health last... Uh, that's just, that's pretty much just never right. I mean, it's very rare that I would consider that to be right, unless you're buying um, Battle Fury on a hero that's like a strength hero that's really tanky or, or what have you. Or like Slark or something, where you don't really need the, the Ring of Health, but Slark generally doesn't go Battle Fury. So, that's pretty much all my mid-game, early-game stuff that I wanted to tell you. And now, I wanted to kind of just focus on, from here, because you are farming well. You're getting a lot of last hits, and that's good. And that's what I want you to focus on. You're getting your farm. You're going to have a great Battle Fury timing. That's awesome. I think this will carry you to high MMRs. And so, focusing on that, I want to just say that I don't believe that this game is necessarily your fault. Now, clearly, if I was playing in this game, or you know, someone higher than you was playing in this game, I feel like I probably could have won this game. I probably would have played you know, differently, but I don't want to overwhelm you with all the possibilities and all the things I would have done differently because it, it just won't really help you at this stage. So farming how you did is really good. You're getting a lot of farm. You're getting a great Battle Fury timing. That's awesome. The thing that you could have done better, though, is to help your team. So there was a time... Wait, let me, let me back up. I don't know if it was... When was it exactly? Let me just see. I think there was a time here, right after you got your Battle Fury, that the enemy team, yeah, right here, I believe, that they dove bottom. Let's just go into free camera real quick. Um, this guy, yeah, I think, like, if we speed it up here, the enemy team is just diving, like, three guys bottom. Yep, here it is. 
Now, if you, I know you play AM, so playing AM, you would not want to team B in here because you're not going to blow this guy up. You're not going to blow this guy up. You're not going to blow this guy up. So that's the right decision on AM. Ursa, on the other hand, you probably could have helped your team there. And so really what I wanted to focus on is, yes, this you're doing great farming and everything, but you see the situation. It's a techies game. These two heroes are you're not too great against. Um... Your team is clearly losing, like they're just feeding away. They're only up 1k because you're farming so well, honestly. If we just look at the uh, net worth here. The only reason that you're kind of in the game is just because you're farming pretty well. And uh, the way to help you not just get rolled in this game is to uh, basically help your team. Now, I'm not going to say that that would have made you win if you TP'd there, but generally helping your team would kind of be the only thing that I would say that would get you back in this game at your level with your understanding is trying to TP into a place like when they're diving, you know, your your tier one there with three of your um, teammates is that yes, you want to farm, but you already have your Battle Fury. Ursa's a very strong hero early. Maybe look to help them. And then that's honestly the biggest thing except for one more thing that I think you could have done differently. Here's a time where you die in a team fight and obviously your guys are behind by 5k it's gonna happen that one's not as big of a deal as i think the next one is that shows the perfect example yeah, here we go this i believe let's, go here. let's back up oh wait, no, that was a uh sorry that was the that was the um that was the techies mines where is it here Oh, here it is. So this is the perfect example of why you need to buy BKB. You just have to. Especially against these heroes. Because I know, even I, don't like buying BKB. You know, it's kind of a boring item. You want those damage items, those kinds of things. But look at, what's, look at what happens here. This Ricky, all this Ricky has to do is use Diffusal on you and press Cloud. And you're pretty much dead. Like, there's nothing you can do. Because you, you try to run out of it, and if anybody stuns you or anything else happens, you know, he's clicking you the whole time. You can't use ult. You can't use your Q to jump out. You can't, you know, the the mischance of the uh, of the cloud makes you not able to hit him, even if you did have your overpower uh, up to hit him a bunch. So, it's just, you have to buy BKB. I know you want the MKB and the basher is good to have, but... You just have to have BKB in this in this game. So one thing I would say in general is I know you play AM, so you probably don't buy it on AM a lot, even though AM sometimes you should, is that BKB is just an item that you sometimes have to get. I know a lot of carry players don't like getting it, but it can be the difference in a game. Now, I'm not telling you that you would have won this game if you bought BKB, but I think your chances would have been much higher because you would have been more survivable in the fights. Maybe if you went... Maybe forget the Blink Dagger. You know, maybe if you just went... Battle Fury, I don't know, BKB, MKB, or something like that. Um, you maybe could have then turned the fight. Your team could have helped you, and you could have, like, you know, survived and killed everybody. I don't know. Maybe you still would have lost. But that's kind of the only real thing that I would say that would uh, would help you here. Uh, that I can just point out that's very obvious. is You need to buy BKB, especially because of the Ricky, and in general. And obviously, you're, you're itemizing for the MKB, which is great. But, uh... But yeah, you just need to buy BKB and just try to buy BKB more. <laughs> I know it's something that generally we carry players don't like to do, but it's something that will really help you win more games um, if you're not used to buying it. So yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts on this game. Like I said, I don't want to overwhelm you with too much, but this is just one of those games that I think, you know, your team didn't do very well. It's a bad matchup for you as Ursa. And I want you to focus still on farming because you are the highest net worth in the game. You have way more last hits than everybody else and i think if you do this consistently you will just skyrocket at mmr and i truly believe that um so i don't want to like nitpick too much and get into the weeds about this that or the other thing also as we see here we'll just we'll just show you this uh this is a techies game so you guys just you know fought them back you go roche and then you know classic techies happens which we'll just see. Yep, there you go. <laughs> That's techies for you. Now, obviously, you or your teammates could have bought a sentry and blah, blah, blah. But honestly, it's techies. I just, if I win or lose with the techies, I, I just ignore the game. I don't learn anything from it, really, because it's just like, it, techies changes the dynamic of the game and how you're supposed to play so much. That, and it's just so annoying that it's really hard to, to judge. Like, 
Yeah. I mean, yes, you probably should have went Roche there, but you have one range, or you have two ranged heroes, so yes, they should have come with you, and they should have placed the ward, and then they get the mines, blah, 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 all this stuff. But, you know, Techies just makes the game so much more annoying, um, as, you, as you see. So, anyway, uh, that's pretty much my thoughts on this game. Like I said, I think you are on your way. You have all the right stuff going for you, focusing on that farm. There's just a few things you could have done better, but even so, I'm not sure you would have won this game. It's just one of those games, you know, maybe you win 8 out of 10 doing what you're doing, and this is one of those two games out of that 10 that you're just going to lose. Um, so, yeah, that's my thoughts. If you have any questions or other concerns, let me know. If, if you're watching this video and you want me to do a replay for you, um, I am 4.6, 4.7K right now. I'm hopefully getting to Immortal soon, um, so just keep that in mind. If you want any kind of advice or me to look at a replay uh, i'd be happy to and uh, just you know comment on the video send me the the replay id and i'll do a video of it for you um, other than that i hope that uh, was informative for you and like comment and subscribe as always and i'll see you in the next video thanks guys